I am currently in my stateroom on Holland America New Staten Dam, and I am right next door to a handicap accessible stateroom. Since I'm on a back-to-back -back sailing, when it's turnaround day, the people next door are moving out, and the cabin steward will be getting that cabin ready for the next guests who will be moving in. And the cabin steward gave me permission if I wanted to come in there and do a quick video tour so that you could see what the handicapped stateroom looks like, how it's laid out. That would be very helpful to you if you're needing a handicap accessible room. Now keep in mind, it is not in pristine condition because normally this cabin steward will have had all of the bedding already changed, the carpets looking great, trash removed, everything spick and span. And of course, it's not like that when I'm showing you that. And it's only fair because he would not want me to come in and film a room once it's perfectly ready for the new guests. And if I were the new guest coming in, I would rather not think that someone else had just been in my room after it had been cleaned. So you will see it with the beds unmade, but hopefully this will give you a good idea of what to expect if you book handicapped accessible stateroom. Cabin 4096 shows up on the deck plan right here. The symbol indicates that it is a handicap accessible room. It is conveniently located near the midship elevators on deck four, and it has a direct path to the room without having to awkwardly turn any corners to get into the door. The room is currently configured for two beds, each having its own nightstand and light. There is an ice bucket and glassware set up in this corner cabinet and a set of four hooks, two upper and two lower ones, great for hanging jackets or bathrobes. To the right of the main door is the bathroom, a raised toilet, the sink is open below for better wheelchair access, there are lots of grab bars, an emergency pull cord, a pull down shower seat, a lower ring pull for closing the shower curtain, a lower and upper clothesline pull, and the usual included bath products. At the door to the stateroom, there is a push button which will open the stateroom door. The door stays open several seconds to allow time to exit the room safely. A large TV is mounted on the wall, and the desk has a lighted mirror above, three drawers below, and several outlets. The closet has an upper and lower hanging rack, and the safe is on a shelf at a great height for the wheelchair occupant. There are three soft closed drawers, and the refrigerator is at eye level with the door attached to the cupboard door. Another cabinet is above. There are curtain pull rings at the balcony curtains, which are a perfect height for wheelchair users. To go out onto the balcony, open the door fully, and a little ramp covers the threshold of the doorway. The balcony is partially obstructed by the lifeboat, and if the guests go all the way to the end of the balcony, they can be treated to an unobstructed view, but it is really long. There's plenty of room for a wheelchair or scooter to come out here comfortably. This is the forward view of the ship from the balcony, and this is the aft view.